On social media, celebratory birthday messages poured in almost four decades after his death. Recognized in 2011 as one of Time magazine's top 25 political icons, he was known by followers as King of Kings, Conquering Line of Judah and Elect of God. This was Tafari Makinen, better known as Haile Selassie I, Ethiopia's last emperor, who ruled between 1930 and 1974. In 1936, he was forced into exile after Italy invaded Ethiopia. The chart of the United Nations expresses the noblest aspirations of man. A month later, Selassie addressed the League of Nations in Geneva, asking for assistance. Even though it went down in history as one of the greatest speeches of the 20th century, he failed to get the support he needed. Later, Britain came to his aid, and Selassie was able to return to his homeland in 1941. Selassie didn't just contribute to Ethiopia's politics, but became instrumental in Africa's quest for independence. During his four-decade rule, Selassie greatly strengthened schools and the police, gave Ethiopia a modern constitution, established the Organization for African Unity with Ghana's Kwame Nkrumah, and became its first president. So revered was he that the Rastafarian religion derived its name from Selassie's original name, Ras, meaning Prince Tafari. But by the early 1970s, famine, unemployment and failure to adapt to the modern world began to undermine Selassie's rule. Human Rights Watch criticized him for ruling in a repressive and undemocratic manner. Four years later, he was ousted. Selassie died the following year under mysterious circumstances. In 1992, the late emperor's remains were discovered buried under a toilet in the imperial palace. Forensic experts believe he was murdered. In 2000, Selassie received a proper burial when his body was laid to rest in Addis Ababa's Trinity Cathedral, Shanae Hale, Johannesburg. You deserve to know more. ENCA.com